going to give a quick overview here. Um, Rajat sends his regards. Uh, he's the, the sub-project lead for our Campus Branch Wireless. He's actually um, uh, out at uh, working at a, at a site possibly to deploy some of the, uh, the equipment that we're going to talk about here. Um, so Campus Branch Wireless, uh, Campus Branch Wi-Fi, actually started a few years ago, uh, two, two and a half years ago, uh, with an OCP. And this was to, to take some of our equipment. Is that showing, by the way? I thought we were just waiting for the, let me see. How about that? Um, we were starting to look at some of the equipment. If you look at some of the, the uh, hardwired switches that we had uh, developed. Um, yes, there was the, the 10 gig uh, top of racks, then the 40 gig top of racks, and 100 gig top of racks. But there are also uh, switches that were being contributed that were at the 1 gig uh, size and more PoE switches and appropriate for the campus. Uh, smaller deployments, not necessarily the, the larger and faster data centers. Uh, so that's where campus started. And then we started to see like, hey, you know what? Those same boxes, you can disaggregate um, um, branch boxes as well and, and even Wi-Fi access points. And so that's how that got started. If we take a look um, now at, okay, uh, all those same benefits of disaggregation and uh, opening up the software uh, ecosystem and being open, all of this applies into the campus branch wireless um, domains as well. Even though it's very, very obvious within the, um, within the hyperscale and enterprise space, uh, it's actually very uh, obvious within the service provider space as well. We actually had this debate with some of the, during the, um, uh, during the expansion of the charter, right? So when we first talked about, let's say, uh, a wireless access point We're saying well just how many of those are you trying to manage and do in an automated fashion um, but if you talk to large service providers or you talk to people running large say stadiums or shopping malls or whatever else um, airports you're managing hundreds if not thousands of access points and deployments and you want to do that in a uh, in a highly automated fashion, you want to be able to innovate quickly in the software. Um, and so all those same concepts and tenets that we apply to the data center typically, we found we're applying into the wireless and, and campus space. So just as a quick readout, um, there are different uh, contributions in the, in the, high, in the, in the wireless and the branch space. Uh, from the software perspective, uh, those, um, the, some of the hard uh, wired switches also run some of the NOSs that we've already been talking about, uh, including, including those from Cumulus and Big Switch. Um, the open source on the wired switches is also available, um, and the different support is available there. What's a little bit different, and the thing I'm going to focus on here is what are the NOSs for the uh, Wi Fi access points? And that's a, that's, that's a different set of uh, open source and commercial software. Um, unless I missed something that Cumulus was going to, or you know, Big Switch is now supporting uh, access points. Uh, but the, um, uh, it is something that is, uh, is usually thought of as a different set of software um, that, uh, that runs on the access points. As a recap, if you all were at Summit, we talked about this, but actually we were able to uh, We've been doing a bunch of write-ups for this, and the group actually has a white paper that they'll be publishing here uh, any day now. I, I'm, we've been going through sort of final reviews of it about what, what happened with the Wi-Fi at OCP Summit. So we actually had 20 different access points scattered throughout the, um, the hall. It was uh, you know, a good amount of volume, um, I think at peak, you know, o over 6,000 users if you look at the graph down at the bottom. And so this was, this was actually running. We were truly dogfooding at OCP um, and using uh, disaggregated open uh, Wi-Fi. One of the things, and besides the numbers, this, you know, 6,000 users, 250 gigs of volume, you, you know, 20 APs. 20 APs is not necessarily a, very, a huge deployment, right? But it was production. And one of the things we wanted to highlight was the, 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 the team that was running the, the IT for OCP Summit, we asked them to comment and evaluate based on the, um, 
the manageability of the solution, right? So if you're familiar with uh, Wi-Fi access deployments, there's a lot that's spent to make them smooth uh, from a lot of other companies. Um, and so that was something that we were worried about. In this case, we wanted to know how easy is it to actually use uh, uh, this, this open disaggregated Wi-Fi. And this was the, the comment from uh, FN Tech where they were very pleased with how they were able to, uh, uh, to roll it out and uh, how it was uh, actually performing. Right? So operationally, and that's one of the big reasons that we, d we do this software, uh, operationally it was working well. From the hardware standpoint, uh, uh, it is now one of the accepted, uh, it, it was using one of the accepted uh, uh, hardware um, access points that was uh, contributed by Edge Core. Uh, so this was used, um, this is used at Summit. It was accepted this summer, uh, and it's available. One of the things, and I think there was a question earlier from somebody: hey, Is this only and some of this, uh, some of this, the, the building blocks that we make only available for top of racks? No. So actually, this access point runs only as well. So all that discussion we had this morning about being able to swap different software packages. Um, this one was running uh, a commercial software package at uh, Summit from Mojo Networks. But you can then use Oni to swap in a, um, um, an open source one. And that's actually um, my last slide, and uh, it, it's a segue to my last slide. We started some work on a open NOS for Wi-Fi. Uh, this was started a couple of years ago. Um, we've, we have a, um, is it listed up here? No, we have a, a GitHub repository that started pulling together some of the work to um, that, that could be the, the starting point for a NOS on these access points. And so if you see here, uh, Rajat has Rajat prepared these slides and he colored in green what is available now as a base um, on top of that can run on these access points. So it's, uh, again, loaded with ONI. Um, it's an, at currently an open WRT-based uh, kernel. And then a few of the, of the basic pieces that you need in, a, in an AP L2, L3 stack, but there's a lot more that, that could be done inside of, of this NOS. So if you or anyone at your companies or if, there, if you know researchers or um, open just enthusiasts that are looking for, hey, there's, here's an open source area that um, could really use more development and it's really wide open uh, and it's, it's just there if you wanted to, to work on these um, commercially available hardened hardware but then start developing open source software that's what um, that's what we have in the in the CBW group so with that I think that was the that was the readout any questions from uh, for the CBW side I'll try my best to answer um, there is a there is a mailing list and a, and a regular call for CBW uh, Rajat uh, manages that and there's more information about that on the, the wiki questions on that okay so we're uh, we're gonna be wrapping that's kind of the end of the the, the formal areas this morning